All right, Shalom, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bashami, Havashai, Wahabraka, Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And honors to you, brothers out there in the highways and the byways, teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And I want to talk about the MOTB and the Great Reset. All right, because they have announced quite boldly that we are in the midst of the Great Reset. And the end goal of the Great Reset is to have established the mark of the you-know-what. That's the end goal. The MOTB and the system behind it is the purpose of the Great Reset. Okay. Because the, 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 wor the world under the MOTB is a very different world that we have right now. Yes, there are controls and different levels of controls in this society as we speak you know you need licenses taxes all these different things but there is quite a bit of so-called liberty or freedom as in people do own shit you own shit and if you got money you can get shit done and no one really gonna bother you like if you want to own five cars you can own five cars if you want to own 10 cars you can own 10 cars as long as you could pay for them you want to own five houses, ten houses. You pretty much, if you got the money, you can do what you want. And that's why everyone in this society is chasing money. Because in this society, when you have money, there really isn't much limits on what you can and can't do. What you can and can't own, how much. Like if I've got, like we live in a society where if you get paid your paycheck at the end of the month, you can go and spend that money on whatever the hell you feel like in any excess that you want to, and ain't really no one gonna say nothing to you. Like you could buy a thousand bottles of vodka with your paycheck if you want to, and drink all thousand bottles. It's legal, right? You could do that. You could spend your rent money on vodka. That's it. You could do that. All right. You could own your car, park your car up on your drive. It's yours, right? Well, the society they the that they want to bring it to is. You will own nothing and be happy. Everything you do will be have to be accessed through your chip. Right? All the goods and services will be accessed through your chip. And you will own nothing. You will not own your house. You will not own your car. You will not own even the clothes on your back. It will all be rented and paid for via micropayments. And the amount you can pay or if you can even pay or partake in that goods or services we based upon uh, rules and regulations built into the system your social credit score right you'll have a certain amount of water that you can access a certain amount of food that you can access certain amount of carbon credits right so you won't own the car you might use a car and you'll be charged for the car by the by the by the um by the meter and they can do that with these new cryptocurrencies and digital um, platforms it's called micro payments you can charge something that's worth of thousands of a penny because these these um cryptocurrencies these digital currencies right can be um divisible uh, way beyond i mean they can have 10 decimal points you understand what i'm saying so you can do something called micro payments. So they could charge you for the internet by the by the data point down to the the byte, and each part byte can cost you, you know, naught point naught 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 one. Do you know what I'm saying? They can do that. That's what this technology allows for, and that's what they're gonna do. Now, in order to do that, they need to crash the current system because the current system is based upon private ownership. Okay, so what do you see happening? What's being threatened at the moment? What's going to be threatened is your savings account, your current account, your pensions. All of that is going to be destroyed to bring the people to a situation where they have to they have to accept the solution of we'll take care of you. We'll take control of all the resources and the goods and the services and make sure make sure everything is provided for. But you just got to give up all your rights and 
we'll give you some universal basic income. Well, you know, and that's that's basically where we're heading, you know. Now, some of these other camps can't see it, but that's because they're blind. This is Revelation 13 and 16. He says, and he calls it all, all. So even these, these people that you think are millionaires, they're going to be in the same situation as everyone else when all hell breaks loose. Because their wealth, first of all, their wealth in terms of money is, is not going to mean anything. Because their accounts are going to be empty to their pensions and their hedge funds. All this, this is all going to implode. And the government, right, in a crisis can confiscate whatever a asset they deem necessary as a solution for that crisis. That's why these laws were created in the first place. So all these people that people think are, are um, rich, they're going to be just like everybody else. The only people... Who are going to be on a different level to everyone else at the super elites. Everyone else is just going to be pretty much on the same level. Give or take a little bit of extra in their UBI. And they show you that there's a movie. Um, There's a movie on Netflix. And they pretty much show you where there was a shortage of water in the earth. And everyone was receiving water based upon a, a, a card that they were given. And you had a bronze card a silver card and a gold card and if you had the silver card it gave you access to more water than if you had a bronze card so they might have a little thing where you do have little you know stratas where people have a little bit more some people have a little bit more some people have a little bit less but a lot of these people are going to be much closer together than you think the working class the middle class the upper middle class they're about to all get crushed and brought low so it says, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell. So you ain't going to be able to, to um, partake in the goods and services of society, right? Which is going to be ultimately all controlled by the government and by extension of the government, these major corporations. Because that's the world that they want. They want a world where these... Because these major corporations are basically part of the government anyway. These major corporations and the government own and control everything. Even down to the, the, the products and stuff that you might use long term. Your kettle and your fridge. All of that. You will own nothing. They mean it when they say it. You will own nothing. Everything you have is basically going to be borrowed. And assigned. Right? Even your gender. <laughs> you might have to borrow your gender. <laughs> it's a sign. <laughs> and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now, you got, you'll own nothing and you'll be happy, which is blasphemy. Right? The, the scripture tells you the Lord gave unto all nations their inheritance. Because if they're saying you own nothing, then somebody's gonna somebody always owns something, right? So basically, what what they're doing is Esau Edom wants to own everything and then lend and and um uh, uh, and and give to people as he sees fit, which that's not how it's supposed to be. The Lord said He gave unto all nations their inheritances, and then the Bible turns around and tells you the earth is the Lord's. Ultimately, everything belongs to the Lord, and it's the Lord that's giving it out to everyone. But Esau wants to replace the Most High. So he wants to be the, the proprietor of all things. Nah, that, that, that's wickedness, man. About you own nothing and you'll be happy. Nah, that's, that's the lies, man. All right? Because Israel, we have an inheritance in the earth. But anyway, um, an example of that, they're preparing this, man. Our automation. Automation and AI to replace a lot of the um, employment needs, right? Test this is Tesla boss Elon Musk presents humanoid robot Optimus. The tech billionaire Elon Musk has presented the latest prototype of a humanoid robot being developed by his Tesla electric car company, which this whole electric car robot thing is all about, basically automation and um, re reducing the need for human resources, man. All right. And who do you think is going to control and own all these robotics and all these cars? In fact, when you get a Tesla now, I think a lot of Teslas come by subscription. See, everything's going to go into subscription 
um, um, pay to play, pay as you go, um, micro payments, man. But to get there, they got to crash everything down. All right, um, this got this one here. How central banks could use digital cash to deliver universal basic income, because that's basically where we're heading. And so when you see these currencies getting ready to implode, when you see these banks are getting ready to implode, when you see these pension hedge funds are getting ready to implode, well, if you ain't got your pension, and if and your and you ain't got your stocks, and you ain't got your uh, um, you ain't got your deposit in your bank account. What do you have left? Maybe what you have is the assets in your name. But if the government says that they need to now take control of all these assets in a crisis, what do you have left after that? Nothing. But your universal basic income. And then we, you might think that we're, we're talking crazy, but this man's dead serious. And this is, gonna, this is actually happening as we speak. They're setting it up. There's going to be massive, massive events coming down the pipeline that's going to completely turn the world on its head. And it's in that moment that they'll be able to to um, basically set the people up and draw them into this. This is Revelations 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So this man ain't playing. And they're going to start speeding this up. Right? And it's going to look like. Oh we did everything to try and save it. Bullshit. They ain't trying to save it. They don't care about the dollar. They don't care about the pound. They don't care about your pensions. They don't care about these banks. These banks don't mean nothing to them. They will gladly sacrifice every single one of these banks and they will to bring in their new system because the, the actual bank itself would still exist. They're just going to do their bailings, right? And they're going to say, listen, we need to, the, 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 we, we, we tried to save it, um, but we couldn't save it. So, but we got a new system that we can bring that can save everyone. And we have an opportunity here to make a fairer world. They, they'll give, they'll give out all the speech. It will be fairer this way, you know, and it, it will save the environment anyway. And we'll, and they'll have the social credit system and everything ready to key up and be part of it. And it's right around the corner. This thing doesn't have to take 50 years to bring in. On the contrary, they need the pain. They need the crisis in order to get the people to accept it. They need the panic and it's coming. So you got to prepare yourself spiritually for that time and that day so that you're not confounded in that day and you're not swept away with the masses because the masses are going to be swept away and many people are going to be fighting to get access to a chip. They're going to be fighting. They're going to be upset because when they first roll this thing out, it's not like they're going to be able to chip everybody in one day. So they're going to be people upset that they haven't been able to get their chip yet. There's people that's going to be upset and angry and protesting that we haven't got our chip. That's how bad it's going to be. I'm telling you. People are going to be fighting to get that chip. Because it's going to allow them to access goods and resources that they're not going to be able to get otherwise. Or it's going to be extremely difficult to get. Extremely difficult. That's the great reset for you. And even all these guys that people is here, they've got they've got everyone obsessed with chasing the bag. Oh, chase the bag. Chase the bag. What you're going to find out is that all these people that have been chasing the bag and how they all this money, you're going to see millionaires lining up with everyday people, with their family to go get the same chip. Remember, I told you. All these celebrities that these you people look up to and you think they're on some kind of level. They too will be brought to that. They too will be in the line with their hand out. Because what do they have? They have a few cars. 
they got some investments in the stock market and the places which is going to be gone. They got money in a bank account which will be gone. When you really break it down, what do they have? Once the financial system collapses, they have nothing. They're no different to everyone else at that point. The only thing they'll have is a mansion. But how are they going to heat that mansion? Huh? How are they going to get food into that mansion? So they're going to be in line with everyone else. Simple as that. Proverbs 11 and 4 says, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death, man. So... They got these people all chasing the wrong thing. Right now, you got to chase the spirit, man. Chase faith. Chase Yahweh Shai. Because that's what's going to deliver you in that time, in that in that day. Because Esau's not saving you. Esau's bringing death. Because <laughs> that's what that market... Because hey, if, if you take that MOTP, <laughs> then you... This is this is what's going... It's, it's a judgment. It's a death warrant. You're not saving your life. You're ending it. This is Revelations 14 and 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he will be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. They ready to do this thing. Let me show you something that happened the other day. UK pensions. They said that they said the Bank of England had to step in. Right? Because the pension funds were about to implode. Now this is just warning shots. See, they control it all. Pension fund panic led to the Bank of England's emergency intervention. See, they're setting the whole thing up to make it look like we tried to save it, but it couldn't be saved. That's why they're doing all these little events. But the day is going to come where the pension funds, all of that is going to be gone. They don't want the people to have anything. They want you to be vulnerable. But you got to prepare yourself to be in that vulnerable spirit. But humble yourself to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shire and be still and remember that. In fact, let me get that scripture. Be still and remember that He is Lord. You have to be in the mindset that you already don't own nothing. <laughs> yeah? That these people are gonna panic, man. And in that panic, they're gonna do, they're gonna, they're gonna cry out for a solution. And Esau's gonna have it there already set up and waiting. It's already set up. Oh, shit. oh yeah, we had already had these CBDCs we were working on. Oh, we already had this infrastructure we were working on. You know, oh really? Oh, conveniently, social credit system and carbon, carbon tracking, and oh you, oh yeah, you already had all that there, right there waiting, didn't you? Oh okay, all this RFID technology all over the place. Oh, it's convenient, that yeah. Psalms forty six and ten. It says, "Be still." And know that I am God. See in that time to come. Don't panic. You got to be still. And be led by the spirit of the Lord man. And don't, don't lose your mind. Don't lose your soul. Remember who it is. That is in control. And act accordingly. Don't panic. The masses will panic. They will do evil. Be still and know that I am God. I will ex be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Right? The Lord will provide for us. The Lord will not allow his elect to fall. So we must remain faithful. Because when this thing hits. It's going to be a big punch. It's going to be a Deontay Wilder right hand. When they start collapsing this place, it ain't going to collapse slowly. It's going to happen fast and it's going to have people's heads spinning. The whole system's going to come to a halt so they could roll out the new system. 
And with that's going to come a whole bunch of chaos. And it's all going to unravel quickly. You have to be ready in the spirit for that time. And know the Lord. Know the prophecies. Know the scriptures. Know the power that you believe in. And know that his power is greater than all. So yeah, just, just a few things on my mind, you know, when I was thinking about that. You know, that Bank of England thing. All that stuff, none of that was by accident. The pound dropping, none of this stuff happened. They remember they control all these markets with algorithms, man. It's all controlled. It's nothing. None of it's natural. It can be naturally explained, but it's still not natural. They they know exactly what they're doing. Don't ever think that it's happening by accident. It's all happening by design. And they don't want to save it. It's a controlled demolition. So be ready. Be ready spiritually and do whatever else you feel like you need to do. But make sure that you're ready spiritually to face what's about to go down. And, and, and keep your eyes on your Habba Shemiyah Shah and don't let your eyes stray. Shalom.